and McGovern's, if you lived in colonial times, serves as an engaging educational exploration of life in early America, specifically focusing on the experiences of children in the colonial period. The book adopts a conversational tone, inviting readers to imagine themselves as participants in the daily life of a colonial community. Through its accessible language and vivid illustrations, McGovern effectively immerses readers in a world that is both foreign and fascinating, allowing them to grasp the challenges and joys faced by young colonists. One of the book's central themes is the contrast between the comforts of modern life and the hardships endured by colonial families. McGovern highlights the lack of amenities that contemporary readers take for granted, such as electricity, running water, and modern sanitation. For instance, she describes how children had to fetch water from wells and endure cold winters without central heating. These descriptions are not merely historical facts, they serve to evoke a sense of appreciation for modern conveniences while simultaneously fostering empathy for the struggles of past generations. By inviting readers to envision their lives in this context, McGovern creates a bridge between the present and the past, emphasizing the resilience and resourcefulness required for survival in colonial times. The book also emphasizes the importance of family and community in colonial society. McGovern illustrates how children were integral to the functioning of their households, participating in chores and responsibilities from a young age. This portrayal challenges contemporary notions of childhood as a carefree time of play and leisure, presenting instead a reality where children were expected to contribute to the family unit. This focus on communal life underscores the interconnectedness of colonial families, as neighbors often relied on one another for support, sharing resources and labor. Such themes resonate with the idea that communities are built on collaboration and mutual aid, a lesson that remains relevant today. McGovern's narrative style is characterized by a playful yet informative approach, often posing questions that encourage readers to engage actively with the text. For example, she frequently asks, what would you do if? This technique not only captures the curiosity of young readers but also prompts them to reflect on the historical context and make connections to their own lives. The book encourages critical thinking by inviting children to consider how their own experiences might differ from those of their colonial counterparts, thus fostering a deeper understanding of history as a dynamic and relatable subject. Illustrations play a crucial role in enhancing the narrative, providing visual context that complements McGovern's descriptions. The artwork captures the essence of colonial life, depicting scenes of children at play, family gatherings, and the laborious tasks required for daily survival. These illustrations serve as a visual gateway to the past, enriching the reader's experience and helping them to better visualize the historical setting. By combining text with imagery, McGovern effectively engages multiple learning styles, ensuring that her audience can connect with the material in a way that resonates with them. The book's exploration of various aspects of colonial life, including education, clothing, food, and work, presents a holistic view of the era. McGovern discusses how children were educated in colonial times, often learning from their parents or attending small, local schools. This portrayal of education highlights the value placed on learning, despite the limited resources available. Furthermore, the book addresses the diverse backgrounds of colonial inhabitants, acknowledging the different cultural influences that shaped life in the colonies, from Native American practices to European traditions. This inclusive perspective encourages readers to appreciate the complexity of colonial society and the myriad factors that influence daily life. Ultimately, If You Lived in Colonial Times serves not only as a historical account but also as a tool for reflection on contemporary life. By inviting young readers to step into the shoes of colonial children, McGovern fosters an appreciation for history as a lived experience, rather than a series of disconnected facts. The book's engaging style and thoughtful approach encourage children to think critically about their own lives in relation to those who came before them, making history relevant and accessible. Through this exploration of colonial life, McGovern instills a sense of curiosity and wonder about the past, inspiring future generations to learn from history while recognizing the resilience and adaptability that characterize the human experience.